What's good? It's Motor City Lines Talk. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Been quite some time. We we'll back with another video, and um, you know, TJ Lane's been named to the Pro Bowl first offensive lineman from the Detroit Lions to do that in 20 years. And a lot of people, you know, was arguing, was was you know, saying he should be cut this year, and they need to blow it up, rebuild the offensive line. Before we get into that, we're getting some NFC, AFC championship picks at the end of the video, very briefly. But um, you know. He had foot injury. He was even injured before he got to Lions training camp. So, you know, um, you know, people say, oh, it's the it's the line. But you remember Greg Robinson, he threw a lot of things off, changed protections. Um, we had, you know, guys in and out. I mean, you know, let the right side of the line, you know, you know, mesh. Keep these guys together. Let Taylor Decker, you know, get healthy. Um, you know, and let us get a full year with these guys. Perhaps place the, uh, replace the left guard and move Glasgow to center. I hear a lot of people saying that. But, um, you know, Lane must play well enough or he must be the only, only right guard in the NFL to take the call. So, um, you know, to go to the Pro Bowl. Plus, you get money to go to the Pro Bowl and a lot of perks. Free trip to Hawaii or wherever they're having it at this year. I think they changed it from Hawaii. So, I'll take it. You know, I'll take it. A lot of people talking about our line was so garbage. and It's not the running backs. It's the running backs, man. You know, I, I say it like this and I say it again. Cincinnati Bagels had one of the worst lines in, in, in the league, but they was able to run the ball better than the Lions. I think it's a combination between the running backs and the schematic of the offensive system. And that's the issue. You know, that's truly the issue for the Lions. And I think it's some camaraderie issues up front. But the one thing the offensive line can do, even at their very worst and lowest point, like I explained with the Bengals, is they're able to push forward and, 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 and run the ball. That's the schematic thing with the Lions. It's the organizational coaching thing. You know, at the very least, the worst offensive line in football, one of the worst in Bengals, was able to run the ball. And, you know, you talking about pass blocking, that's a, that's a totally different thing. That's harder to do than run blocking. Once you get the big fellas pressing forward, you know, and on the road, you should be able to open holes. And this hole's there. I've seen people break down film. I've seen film myself. The holes are there, you know. I've seen, you know, Amir Abdullah make a knee jerk reaction and pick the wrong hole and don't let stuff develop and don't have any patience. Um, we spoke about Le'Veon Bell coming here. He missed numerous walkthroughs, and it sounds like the Steelers are through with him. But congratulations to T.J. Lane for being for the Pro Bowl. He be on there with uh, 97 won a ticket with Mike Valente. I enjoy him being on there. I um, enjoy his voice. I enjoy him coming back to his hometown because a lot of people, or his home area, a lot of people don't come back to Detroit to play, to give back. I mean, you know, it's very, very few. It's a lot of athletes that's from Detroit that don't come back. You'd be amazed. You know, Derek Mason from the Tennessee Titans and the Baltimore Ravens, he's from here. Howard Isley, old point guard for the Utah Jazz. I mean, Jimmy Walker. I mean, a lot of guys. We know the guys that get back. Derek Coleman, Jalen Rose, guys of that nature. Um, but it's a lot of guys that, that make it out of here that you have no idea from the area that don't come back and give back to the city. And I'm glad that TJ Lane came back and played football. He became a Pro Bowl offensive lineman his first year. Whether you like it or not, I see a lot of people in the comment section and other threads saying that, um, oh, you know, you know, it, it was, uh, he sucked this year. It was, our running backs was good. And face it, your running back's not good. It's common sense. None of your running backs on this roster will start anywhere in the NFL right now. You know, they might have a problem being a second-string running back, to be honest. But, you know, that's my opinion. It's definitely my opinion. I'm happy for T.J. Lang, first line in 20 years, first offensive lineman lying in 20 years to get it done. Well, let's break the streak. Let's get Taylor Decker there next year. Let's get Glasgow. Let's get the whole gang there. Let's get us a running back that can run behind, the, behind, behind this line. But you got the NFC and the AFC Championship game coming up tomorrow. Um, Minnesota and the Eagles. Um... NFC, and it just seemed like if the Lions should run the ball this year, and now they could have stayed healthy. And we, we really beat the crap out of Minnesota while they was hot. You know, you know, Case Keenum threw for like 300 yards and three quarters on, on Tampa Bay. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, but pick the Vikings. I just don't trust um, Nick Foles. Um, and I don't trust the Eagles secondary. I think Case Keenum make enough throws in the cold. He's not, he experienced. I know he's a South, Southern boy from Texas. Experienced enough. He's talking about the AFC Championship game. I want the Jaguars to win so bad. I'm a Michigan man, if y'all didn't know. Love Tom Brady, but I want the Jaguars to win bad. And I just figure out the refs, the Patriots, the Patriots, a.k.a. the refs, will figure out a way to win, win versus the um, Jaguars. Um, it might be a blowout. It might be a close game. You know, I'm not sure, but I'll give you scores. The Vikings over the Eagles, um, 20 to 14. Patriots, 24, 28 to 13 over the Jacksonville Jaguars. I just think they got too much firepower. Um, so we heading into the Super Bowl, and one step closer to the offseason, to free agency, the draft. So we have plenty of enough content com content coming uh, the Motor City Lions talk. But I appreciate everybody for sharing and subscribing. We gone.